Yes guys, welcome back to another video. So today we have the community team of the season rankings. Now obviously this is my opinion, but on your screen you can see obviously all the community team of the seasons including there's SBC Chiesa there. So um, if you want me to do this for the EFL, there's a there's a good um, chance I can do that obviously. I can do the same for this and I'll probably do all the, the main leagues. Uh, ranking them and obviously giving my opinion on them. We've also got the pricing of the SBCs here on Footbin, so you can see um, this is the Xbox price, but they're they're not far off on PlayStation. And obviously, you can check yourself uh, at the time of making this. This is the day after they've come out, so yeah, um, pretty much we've got them got them all here. I think I'll just go in the order that it, that I've um, pretty much. I downloaded all the FIFA cards and chucked them into this and made my own. So we've got insane, great value, decent, bad. Um, yeah, it's going to be, might might be some controversial ones, I don't know. And I haven't really thought about this, so we're doing this kind of live. So um, first one, I, ha I have to put in insane, David Alaba. I do think he looks absolutely crazy. Um, where is he here? He's up 705k, 86 pace, with 93 defending and 89 physical. And for a centre back, that's good alone. And then you've got the 92 pass, 90 dribbling as well as that. So I do think that that has to be has to be insane. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Um, yeah, definitely insane. Even great value to be fair. Ariola, I'm just going to put already in decent. I don't think we need to waste too much time on Ariola. He's a keeper. They're all the same, really, aren't they? So I, I'm sure my 84 Nick Pope's as good as him. Um, Leon Bailey is next. He is coming in at 300k. Now, he's rapid, he's got good shooting, good dribbling, and 86 pace. So, for 300k, I'd say, it, I don't know, he's not insane. There's there's good there's good options uh, out there. Um, his finishing's a bit low. He's, he might be, yeah, I'd probably say, yeah, he's four star, four star. I'd say he's good value, um, or great value, I've written it as. So, um, yeah, he can go into there. I think that's fair enough. Next up, Mr. Harvey Barnes, coming in at 545k. Um, he's definitely, he's up there, isn't he? Um, he's got it all. Four star, four star with insane shooting in the right areas. Really, really quick, obviously. Um, great passing all in the good areas, apart from long passing. Could be a bit more with the chem stars. So you do that. Agility and balance are up there. I think he's got to go into insane now. That was not the, um, that was my download from Chrome. Uh, downloading all these, um, these players. Next up is Chiesa's SBC. I don't know if he's yeah he's not here. Uh, yeah he's not here. So um, uh, we'll have to find him. Let me just duplicate that and find Mr. Chiesa. Um, he obviously SBC. So 174k SBC and um, finishing's a bit low. Passing is good enough. Um, long passing bit bit short, but um, agility four star four star. I'd probably say he's decent. Um, he's rapid. Oh, yeah, I, I, I'd check him in decent. I don't know. He's an untradeable for 174k, and I think you're just going to get so many similar options. So I'm going to put him in decent there. Um, yeah, pretty much. I think he, he's he's fair enough to go there, isn't it? Um, next up, Edward. Um, he's from Rangers, isn't he? Not Rangers. Um, Celtic, definitely not Rangers. Uh, we got someone coming from Rangers in a sec. Edward is, he's okay. He's six foot two, four star, four star. Um, is he? He's, he's not great, is he? His passing's really average. His agility and balance is good, and his dribbling, but reactions, ball control aren't top, top tier. Um, good strength, stamina, um, and then shooting is a bit weird. Like his long shots are bad. His shot power is not like overly amazing. Obviously, it's good. Pens are good. Curves good. I'm gonna put him in. Do, do I check him in bad? I think that's a bit harsh. I don't think anyone really is bad, are they? Like, not bad. Um, yeah, we'll check him in decent. I think that's fair for him. Um, next up is Goldson. So let's find him. He's on the bench. This is the Ranger man. Um, this one is a cool one because he does a uh, perfect link to Tavernier. So it's an interesting one. Um, Goldson, though, is he... Is he top tier? I don't think so. Obviously, two stars, two star. Um, there are going to be a lot of players like this over team of the season. That's why someone like Alaba, who has increased dribbling and passing, just makes him such a better, a better, better player. Um, I do think he would be good, but I think it's, it is good value. 139 k is good value. 
Um, I think it's fair to put him in, in good value, great value, same thing as good, isn't it, really? Um, yeah, because he is going to be good good bang for your buck, I guess, so I'll put him there. Um, next up, though, is Ilicic, 91k for Ilicic. Now, I don't know what his in-games are like. Obviously, he's not the quickest, four-star, three-star, no, sorry, four-star, four-star, read that wrong. Great passing, great shooting, great dribbling, apart from agility and balance, so something like an engine on him. I think with an engine for 91k, that's a baller. That is an absolute baller. So yeah, I think he has to go into great value there. Like you, you literally can't. He can't go anywhere else because he's he's quality, isn't he? Um, next up is Keen. Keen, where is he? Bench. Yeah, 80 80.5k. Um, three star, three star. We might have ourselves a bad here. He's really, really like quite bad passing. Agility's not all there. His shooting is decent, but he hasn't got the long shots or pens or volleys. Not that they mean too much. He's not bad, but I'm tempted to put him in bad. And that sounds stupid, but one, to have someone in there, it makes sense to have someone. Not that it's... Well, it's not really forcing it. Three star, three star. Are you really going to want to use that? I don't know. Um, with that sort of passing, he'd be, he can only play striker. And at this stage of the game, I do think there are a lot better options, even for the 80k mark. Um, he's he's going to have to join bad. It might be a bit bit harsh on uh, Mr. Moyes Keen. He's having a good season, but um, yeah, I'm going to chuck him down in um, in the the bad the bad section. Who's next? Wamba Saka, one that is one of the more expensive ones. I think third most expensive. Now nah, fourth, I think after so it'd be. Valverde, Alaba, Barnes, and Wambasaka. Now Wambasaka, he does look good, doesn't he? Four star, but four star skills, two star weak foot, isn't great. But he's got insane dribbling for a right back. Look at that. That is kind of mad. Um, heading actually is dodgy and jumping is dodgy, so he won't be winning too many headers. Pace, rapid, right back at a centre back, he'd be so good. Um, but my only concern is the price. 540k now that isn't good value i don't think i don't know there are there are decent right backs already out there so if he's not insane which he could be insane um and then he's not great value he's decent so with that being said i think he i think he's got to go insane because he's not decent he's above average isn't he obviously so and he's not great value so he's got to be insane he's got to be up there he is probably one of the best right backs in the game right now Obviously, that'll change when uh, the other uh, the leagues come out. But um, yeah, and Kunku next. Actually, no, it's not. It's Mukiele. Um, where's my my man Mukiele? There you are, right back. Um, another one who 307k. See, I don't know how far off um, he is to uh, Wamba Saka, but he does look. He doesn't look as good. It's fair to say, but he is 200k cheaper. Um, yeah, he's good. He is good. He's got the jumping, stamina. Not that great defending compared to um, Wambasaka, but I think he is good. Uh, we'll check him in decent because I don't think for 300k it's great value, but he is. He is a good card. Um, yeah, definitely a good card. Next up, Endombele, 350k, which I thought would be more because he's from a prem, but this is why because he has got some a bit weird stats like bad jumping, bad head and accuracy. Um, bad uh, free kick accuracy which isn't too bad finishing obviously quite quite low but he has got a good dribbling and good passing all round um in both of those areas but like good good pace not great and then good shooting but not great good defending but not top end and then good physicality but not top end so i think i'm going to put him in um decent which might seem harsh but at the moment i don't think ender belly will be a great card for for your money really so yeah Who's next? And Kunku is coming up now, so that is one. 175k or 170. 90 pace, 93 uh, dribbling. F four star, three star. Um, he's probably, I don't know, he, he looks good value to me. He does look good value. He's pacey, he's got the agility and balance. His finishing could be higher. His shooting in general could be a bit better. But he's a cam, isn't he? So it's all right. Um, and then the the passing is really good. Short passing 92, 
Vision 90, uh, crossing 91, 87 long pass. I think I'd say he's good value. 170k, I'd say he's good value. We'll check him in good value. Um, or great value. Tagli if you go next, three to go. Um, 186k. I I think I'm I'm gonna put this card in insane. Uh, I'm gonna say it straight away. Three star skills, two star weak foot isn't amazing, but because he's a fullback, he'll get away with it. And he's left footed on the left side, so that's okay. If he was two star weak foot with a right foot, that'd be bad. Or if he's right side left footed. Um, but absolute insane pace. Shoot doesn't matter on a fullback really. You could argue it does on a five three two or something. Um, then passing, 97 crossing if you want to whip it in, 92 short pass, 80 long pass, long pass could be boosted, Th those those dribbling defending physicals has to put him in insane for me, um, he's going up there, I don't care, Valverde is next, and where is he, Valverde, 840k, the most expensive one in the list, um, 4 star, 3 star, CDM slash centre mid, so you'll be alright with the 3 star weak foot, I think, um, he is rapid for a midfielder. He's missing out on the free kick and crossing, but that's okay because he's central um, and he doesn't have to be a free kick taker. Jumping, all these tots have no jumping and head now is a bit weird. Dribbling is cracked apart from agility and balance. Ah, um, I think he's got to go in insane because of how good the rest of it. Like he is, those, those stats are, those 91s everywhere, 97s, 98, 92s, 98s. A lot of plus 90s. I think he does have to go in insane. And you're playing a premium price for him. So he's going to be good. And then Zielinski. Zielinski uh, can't speak. For 97.5k. This card is, is great value. I'm putting it out there now. 4 star skills. 5 star weak foot. I've already looked at this guy. Um, and the pace is there for Cam. Shooting. He does need a bit more finishing. But you look outside that. 99 long shots. 92 lot, uh, shot power. Vision 93. I think those stats are incredible for what 96k. So Zielinski, the final one of the video, is going into great value, and it does form a nice little um, I don't know square and a bit more, which is kind of weird. I don't know how it's happened, but not not the maddest of things to happen anyway. So um, yeah, that is pretty mad, pretty good team of season all round. I'd say um, you've got a nice what 10 cards there that if you do pack are likely to go into your team, if not the bench. Or if you uh, want to use them to buy them, obviously, for your ever, I don't know, second team or whatever you want to do, whatever. All up to you. But those are my opinions. If you do agree, check it in the comments. Let me know. Also, if you don't agree, put it in the comments because I want to know why. And uh, maybe Moise Kim is a bit harsh or you think Ariola's insane. I don't know. But um, anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe already. Peace.